Do you recall the Dendrobium D1? We W-O-U-L-D and blame you if you didn't. This all-electric concept hypercar has made just a few appearances since debuting at the Geneva Motor Show back in 2017. The last bit of news we heard was in July. When we learned the Singapore-based upstart was headed to the United Kingdom to build production versions of the car. The company is now UK-based, and in a new press release we learned the D1 has evolved to become D1 XP2 thanks to changes from a new designer that joined the team. The new guy on the payroll IS and just any old designer. His name is Peter Stevens, and his portfolio includes work at Lamborghini, Toyota, BMW, and you may have seen his handiwork on a little-known supercar called the McLaren F1 so yeah, he has some serious design chops. We are untold exactly what different between the old and new model, but the changes are said to improve the car aerodynamics. The crux of the car is its protocell carbon tub, which ISN explained in detail but we know the car is entirely carbon fiber to reduce weight as much as possible. The company has a target weight of 1,750 kilograms which sounds like a lot but don't forget this is an all-electric affair that has substantial battery weight to offset. Speaking of which, Dendrobium DOES and mention any power or range targets in its new release. Previously, the company touted lofty figures of 1,800 horsepower, and at Geneva in 2017, performance estimates of 2.7 seconds to 60 mph and a top speed over 200 mph were mentioned. Weather performance benchmarks have changed along with the car's design which itself dates clear back to the mid-1990s is unknown. The company is pledging to move forward with production in the UK despite the current challenges and uncertainties continuing around Brexit. As is often the case with niche projects like this, Progress has been slow but we certainly wish Stevens and the Dendrobium team the best of luck going forward.